Hello everyone. Uh, hello everyone. I am Vikram T. Maduri here, and welcome to JH Soft Tech. And in this session, I am going to discuss with you the preparation of resume for SAP FICO consultants. And um, it will be like uh, I'll also be discussing about the roles and responsibilities specific to a, every project. Project. And if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, do subscribe to our channel at, at YouTube.com/JHSoftTech. And whenever we post a new video, you'll be getting a notification of that. Now, for SAP FIC or resume, we have XP. Uh, if at all, if you are preparing an SAP FIC or resume, I am assuming that you might be having somewhere around three to twelve years of experience. In that condition, I am going to prepare a resume for somewhere around uh, uh, roughly around four years of experience. And uh, you know, with this, you can also you know go ahead and prepare the resume for more number of years when whatever is your specific relevant experience. According to that, you can build it. But the procedure to build the resume would be same as I am discussing in this session. Okay, so let's move on to uh, the resume preparation. I am giving this content uh, font size as twenty um, uh, for it to be clear. But actually, it should be something around uh, say ideal is twelve, ten to twelve. The ideal font size should be ten to twelve. And if at all, uh, and uh, you have to make sure which one which. Font you are going to use. So I I am using Verdina. Okay, you can use any any font of your choice, but it should look professional. I mean, like uh, what I mean by professional is you can take uh, Verdina, you can take Arial, you can take Times Roman, or you can take Arial Narrow, or you can also take Calibri. But you cannot take something like you cannot you cannot take something like uh, Gaudi Stout or uh, Harlow. Solids, italic. So those things uh, you should not take. So it should be something which is professional. So I am taking Verdina twelve. You can also take it as ten. Now in this will be will be first and foremost is you 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 should be giving the name your name actually. So I am giving it as. Uh, you know, basically this is by default set as a blue color, so it's always better to go for black. Okay, so I'm giving this as something like Vikramaditya, and I'm taking an example here, and um, you know, phone number. You can give it as phone, or you can give it as something like contact number, and uh, the spacing should not be this much. So. Make sure your spacing is, you know, reasonable. So I'm giving it as zero. Okay. So this is this is how it should look like. Look, like, you know, phone number and details. Something like this, and uh, we should be, you know, uh, giving the email ID. So email ID, I'll be giving it as Aditya dot jhsoftech at gmail dot com. So you can you can give something like uh, it should look professional. It should not look. Uh, it should be very decent. Like it 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 may not. It should not be like uh, you know uh, Aditya dot one four five six two something like that. So you should you should it should look professional. Finally, for I'm trying to tell. So you can give this as size ten. Okay, now here this can be increased. Actually, the size of this can be increased. So maybe we can give it as something like fourteen. Only just the name can be uh, uh, bigger. Okay, next we have here here we can give it as SAP FICO. Consultant. When you say consultant, it's a big word actually. So normally in most of the in you know, most of the cases, consultant is something which uh, we, if you have more than five or six years experience, uh, then you can be called as consultant. But if you are, uh, you know, starting as a developer, uh, I mean, like as a, you know, as a entry level or with three four years experience, then you should be normally keeping it as associate, SAP FSEO associate. Consultant is. 
you can also go for consultant but people who exactly know the name uh, know the meaning of the consultant will expect you expect a lot from you but if at all in general so most of the hr people when they call you and ask you about a requirement they generally tell you that there is a there is a opening for sap fico or consultant not for sap fico associate or something like that so yeah this is how you have to give and uh, this is how it looks it should look like no need to give anything additional to that additional to what i have already given on the uh, in, in the resume and then we need to go ahead with the we need to go for professional summary professional summary in the professional summary you can give your name um, it, it can be like it can be something like having 4 plus years of experience as in sap fico fico includes or you can say or you can say uh, having a four plus years of software sap software experience in as a as a sap fico associate associate have worked in implementation implementation support projects include communication skills excellent excellent team member or uh, if if you feel that excellent team member is an exaggeration you can say you can say comfortable working with teams can work in challenging environment challenging environment quick learner okay so self motivated you can you can also add one more one more uh, option here self motivated you can work in challenging environment quick learner and uh, these are the skills that we have to give and the, the professional summary might be something else it can be a slightly different as well but you remember you need to remember that you should not write a professional uh, a professional summary more than 3 to 4 lines so your professional summary should be restricted to 3 to 4 lines no not not 10 to 15 lines so this is how it should look like and then you you are going to go ahead with the this is a professional summary technical skills technical skills is what you need to mention and in this technical skills you should you should mention all the things that you can uh, you you know okay so sap fico technical skills whatever you you can you have worked on okay so you can say worked on configuration of gl ap ar ae okay if at all if you have already done the uh, controlling you can also do that the same line you can also be written like like you know with the full forms like configuration of general ledger accounting 
accounts payable, accounts receivable, and asset accounting account you know, configurations. So the basic configurations. Okay, so this is how you have to keep on mentioning the, uh, you know, uh, technical skills. The technical skills can include anything that you want to highlight on the, um, on the uh, on the technical front. So you can say, I'll, I'll make this as point point wise. So as I told you, the same thing can be also written with full forms. It's up to you. Whichever you, you feel comfortable, you can do that. And uh, preparation of preparation of financial statements. Preparation of financial statements. PL statements, like that's profit and loss statements. Profit and loss statements or profit and loss analysis. Okay, this financial statements, preparation of financial statements, profit and loss analysis. General ledger and uh, you, know, you already mentioned the general ledger cost of cost controlling. Uh, I mean, like you can also add something like master data management. And when you are remember when you are you know naming the file when you are sending the file to someone so give it like this Vikramaditya SAP FICO with four years so it should be something like this okay Vikramaditya SAP FICO four years so the naming convention should be something meaningful. Okay, I've seen a lot of resumes which does not have any meaning like uh, uh, they give something like you know document 1, document 2 or something like that. A very vague kind of a name that doesn't go well. So make sure whenever you are saving it, save it with a proper name. That's very important. Okay, so in this like master data management and uh, whatever you would like to highlight like you know, uh, I mean like audits, quarterly reports and all these things we can do it. Okay, so these are the things that we can have. Okay, uh, you can say something like, you know, worked on, worked in implementation. So this implement worked in implementation project and support project, this you already mentioned. So what we can do is like, you know, now what we can do is like the configuration we have already done and uh, assisting in testing process assisting in testing process in order to discover errors and issues In business process in business process so something like this and uh, you know if it all if it's a testing process so what are what you have done and if it all if you already know certain things like uh, uh, maintain documentation And you can also mention something like uh, the transport management. The production server. So this process, entire process you should be knowing. And uh, 
you know we will be you, you can also mention something like you know gap analysis so gap analysis is something like it's it, it comes me before the worked in configuration so even before the con configuration participator